Good morning, and welcome to the City of Rockville's virtual September 11 Honor and Remember Ceremony. I'm Mayor Bridget Donald Newton, and I'd like to take a moment to recognize our council members, Monique Ashton, Beryl Feinberg, Dr. David Miles, and Mark Prashela. We are gathered today, apart yet together, to remember the events of September 11, 2001, and to honor the lives lost that day and in the weeks and years to come. A beautiful yet ordinary day, 19 years ago today, was made extraordinary by the ultimate selfless acts of service performed by so many, both during and after the attacks on our country. Today, we once again find ourselves in unprecedented times. Today, again, we are called upon to work together for the common good. Through this health crisis, this economic crisis, this time when we are crying out for racial justice, let us remember to respond as Americans, to remember that we are a community of neighbors. We must respond with American grit, the can't-do spirit we brought to the days following 9-11 when we came together as one nation, one people standing together in defense of our country. Though the challenges today are different, we must once again come together and work for the common good. We must act with selflessness. We must demand care for others as we demand it for ourselves. We must remember that our actions or inactions have impacts. Wearing a mask, physical distancing, and not doing our normal activities are examples of that caring. Supporting our caregivers, our food banks, our frontline workers demonstrates our understanding of the hardship that this perfect storm, health, racial, economic, has brought upon our families, our community, our nation. I am proud to live in the city of Rockville, to be the mayor of a city that has shown how to lead, how to share, and how to care. We stand for core values, respect for each other, for diversity in all its forms, for equality, and for providing a voice for the voiceless, for the disenfranchised. In the days and weeks ahead, we must remember that we are a community of neighbors. And though we will not always agree, we must find ways to discuss and even debate with civility and respect for the core values of our democratic system. Let us remember those who perished on September 11, 2001, and honor their deaths by coming together once again as we did then. Let us remember their names and honor their lives, their service, their sacrifice. Joshua Aaron, William E. Caswell, Dr. Gerald P. Fisher, Captain Lawrence D. Getzfred, United States Navy, Michelle M. Heidenberger, Angela M. Houts, Teddington H. Moy, Lieutenant Darren H. Pontell, United States Navy Reserve, Scott A. Powell, Todd H. Rubin, Patricia J. Statz, Ernest M. Wilcher. Please join me in a moment of silence as we remember these county residents who lost their lives on September 11, 2001. And as part of our annual 9-11 memorial ceremony, Mr. James Carter from Honor and Remember will be placing American flags at each of the memorial benches. The mission of Honor and Remember is to recognize the sacrifice of America's fallen heroes, military members and their families. The organization pays tribute to all military lives lost, not only while serving on active duty, but also as a result of that service. Military deaths from each branch of service and from all wars and conflicts since our country's founding are recognized. The city of Rockville is once again honored to be their partner in our September 11 ceremony. In closing, I ask that each of us remember the motto that defined our country in the days and months that followed the assault on our democracy. United we stand, divided we fall. As we work together for the common good in today's challenges, may we once again stand hand in hand and shoulder to shoulder with the same courage and conviction as those who faced the attacks on 9-11. Thank you.